Yes. Good morning. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Um, or wherever you may be in the world. Hello. How are you? Yes, I am Queen Poetry 73. Um, I'm just here to give you a little word um, that I've been sitting on for a couple of days now. And um, yes, um, competition, competing. That's what I'm here to discuss today. Um, the energy in the area is so high and so strong. Um, you're, we're competing um, with, you know, the things in society. We're competing, you know, in education. We're competing in um, our identity. We're competing in um, our jobs. Um, we're competing in the church house, we're competing um, in our circle of friends. We're competing um, just in so many areas in our life that sometimes we don't even realize that we're competing or that we're in competition. Um, you know, some time ago it used to be, um, you know, you would find the men to be more competitive. Um you know, with the, the biggest muscle, the fastest cars, uh, yeah, the most girls um, that, you know, uh, that they could get. And, you know, um, it was just, the competition was just real high in that area. And, um, you know, as for me, um, I remember, you know, being in, you know, middle school and having intramural sports, for you all that know I'm tell you how old I am. I said intramural sports and, um, and where I competed, you know, um, you know, in basketball and track and field and then so on into high school where, um, I competed, um, uh, for, uh, track and field in the triple jump, long jump and high jump. I also made, you know, uh, varsity my freshman year of high school as a basketball player. So yes, um, so the competition in that area was much needed. It, you know, you could you compete in sports. That's what you do. You you compete in, in an entertainment business. You know, we compete um, in different areas of our life and we not realize it. So um, I just um, thought that I would jot down a, um, a few notes. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, so I just thought that I would jot down a few notes. Um, the the uh, title of this message is, What race are you running and with who are you competing? And um, here, um, the Word of God tells us in Ecclesiastes 9.11 that the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but to the one who endures it. Okay, so anytime I reference the Bible, you all know I reference a New Living Translation. So, yes. Um, when you find yourself competing, competing um, with some of your, um, you know, friends, associates, or whatever, have you um, ask yourself, um, have have you ever been alone? Have you ever Stop to think, you know, do I always have to have um, someone around me? Do I always have to, um, you know, uh, be in a relationship? Um, have I even gotten to know myself? While I'm so in interested in competing with the things around me, and I've not even known who I am, okay? Do you always need someone in your life to validate you? Because with that does come competition. Um, you start to find yourself competing with the others that are in society that may, you know, that you may come in contact with, you know. So my question to you is, what... 
race are you running and with whom are you com competing with? Okay. Now, if you are looking at your neighbors, your co-workers, um, someone's social status, who's got the best car, who can sing the best, who um, has, you know, all the, um, the best shape, who's got the biggest BBL, or who um, has the longest, or who got the best makeup on, who can run the fastest, who can um, jump the highest, all of those. If you find yourself in any of those areas, you are um, competing a race and those are your competitors. And I believe the most important note that I have is if you find yourself competing while you're in a relationship with your uh, significant other, that is to a huge problem. Okay. So, um, yeah. So compete with yourself. You are your best competitor. And when you lose or miss, you know, an opportunity or a mark, don't beat yourself up. Go even harder. Start over with a different approach and mindset. Start by renewing your mind. Be renewed by the, um, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Start renewing your mind on different things and how you can be a better person, how you can uh, go in and compete within yourself to make you, to empower you, to uplift you, to encourage you, to inspire you to build you up, to build up your name, to build up your brand, to build up your brain, your body. As um, Tony Gassens would say, those things are important for you. If you're going to be into comp in competition, be in competition with yourself. Bettering you. Because society will always throw curves at you to make you think, you're not light enough. You're not dark enough. You're not thin enough. You're not thick enough. You're not um, smart enough. You're not uh, athletic enough. Uh, your vocals are off. You, I mean, just so many things that they can, that life can throw at you. And competing, competing for what and with who? You will run yourself raggedy, trying to to change every time society changes. Or every time something on social media changes. Or every time somebody says a different word. And then you say, oh, well, maybe that's me. And then you find yourself changing again. Changing again. And now you're in a competition ring. And you lose. You lose the fight in the ring of competition. If you do not comp compete with yourself. Okay. You can end the race of competing by starting fresh, starting anew, okay? Take inventory of the races you have voluntarily entered because of society's pressures. Let's stop and think, oh, I can change this for myself, but let it be for yourself and not for what someone else is doing or has said or what you've seen, okay? You cannot run backwards, but, but you can surely start over. Okay, because nothing's back there. The word of God says the hand is not fit for the plow looking back. Okay, so nothing's back there. That time has passed. Your, your future is ahead of you. So start over with you. See what you can do for yourself. See how you can build a stronger and better relationship and more intimate relationship with God. That's where the comp that's where you need to start competing with yourself in that area. Build yourself up in that area. Become strong in that area. In that area. The race is not given to the swift or the strong, but to the one that can endure it. To the one that can do it to the end. To the one that can endure the suffering and the pain that comes with. Life and knowing who Christ is and, 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 and being involved with him, communing with him, an intimate relationship with him. Like I told you before in my previous video, the Holy Spirit is like an umpire. 
He's like an umpire. You are either safe with God, you either fouled and, and in need of repentance, or you're out. That means God has turned you over to a reprobated mind. Okay, so in the area of competition or the arena of competition, don't compete with other people to try to better yourself. And I say that because there's so many pressures that come with that. Then comes stress. Then comes fatigue. Then comes depression. Then comes oppression. Then comes suppression. And you're tired. You're going to wear yourself out, God forbid. And you'll find yourself laying on your back trying to get your body levels back to their normal ranges. Because you're stressed out. Trying to compete with society. It is not a good place. I can speak from experience. It is not a good place. Be who you are. Be who God has called you to be. Be the best that you can be. Say what God has said that you are. And be what God has called you to be. You are fearfully, carefully, and wonderfully made in the eyes of God. There is no need to compete with those that are in society. Who's going to bring you on turmoil and pressure. It is demonic. And it is not of God. It is time to get you straight. Compete with you. Build you up. It's the best thing that you can do. Turn your focus toward more positive things that will empower you and build you up. Start looking at inspirational videos. Start reading um, a good um, novel. Things that can bring you up and empower you and show you how someone else has uh, gained or, or climbed the next rung on the ladder of success. Positive things. Surround yourself with positive people that speak positive things. You want to see yourself going in that direction? Be around the people that are already in that direction and have moved on. You want to see yourself a size five or six? Hang up a pair of pants that look like you can fit it. And then exercise and work out until you get to that size. The only way to start is to just do it, as Nike would say. And in my phrase, just own it. These are my thoughts on competing. Better yourself. My ladies and my gentlemen, you are fearfully, carefully, and wonderfully made by God. You are created in his likeness and in his image. From the dust you were created. He blew life into you and created a living being. All right. Again, I am Queen Poetry. You are fearfully, carefully, and wonderfully made. Please remember that. That's my charge and challenge to you today is ask yourself. What race am I running and with whom am I competing with? Okay, again. I want you to be uplifted, be inspired, be encouraged. Uh, most of all, self-love. Why? Because he loved you first. And until I see you the next time, I love you all. I want you to have a safe day out there. And peace. And I am out. Bye.